Hello, Plymouth. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to be sharing a devotional with you from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. So let me read the text. One day Jesus was standing on the lake of Gennesaret. The people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put it out a little offshore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of the fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the son of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be fish, you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything and followed him. I love this story, but most of all, I love putting myself in the story um, and thinking of how I would react if I were Simon. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through that right now. So if I were Simon, um, Simon Peter, I'd be thinking to myself that I've been fishing all night and um, I'm just so tired and all I want to do is clean up and go home and rest a little bit before I have to go out again to go fish because this is my job. Um, so I'm doing that and I'm exhausted. I've been up all night fishing and this man comes and he's teaching these people the word of the Lord, um, the word of God. And um, he comes up to me and asks me to use my boat and to put it offshore so he could teach the people. And I, in my mind, I, I know I would be saying, I've just fished all night. I've worked all night so hard. Like, you want me to just stay out here even longer so you can teach the, these people from my boat? Like, you're crazy, but okay, I'll do it. And it's the nice thing to do, so I'll do it. So he gives, he lets him use his boat to teach the people. And once he's done teaching, he thinks, Simon, I'm sure was thinking like I would be, oh, yes, he's done. He's done teaching. I can clean up my boat. I can clean everything up and I can go home and rest. But instead, Jesus tells him, you know, Simon, go take the boat out and put your nets down and for some fish. And I mean, by Simon's response, it's obvious he's frustrated. I've, he, I've, fished out there all night of course there's no fish like there's no way I'm gonna catch any fish like you're crazy but because you say so I'll go and do it um, and then he goes out there and he catches all these fish and he even needs help from his partners to come and bring it all in um, and what else is he gonna do um, and what else is there to do um, what else would I do but to fall down at Jesus's feet and say, I'm not worthy of what you've given to me, of what you've provided for me. Like, I'm a sinful person. Why, why would you do this for me? And to be afraid. Um, but instead, Jesus turns to him and he would turn to me as well and say, don't be afraid. Um, and on top of that, not only don't be afraid, but here I have this mission that you're going to fulfill. And I'm going to make you a fisher of men. Um, and that's just, it's crazy. And what response else is there but to look to Jesus and say, okay, I'll follow you. I'll leave everything behind. After seeing him provide fish, 
and then comfort me directly after. Okay, I'll follow you, I guess, and see how this goes. Um, so I love, yeah, I love to see myself in the story and kind of put in the um, the emotions and how how the characters may be feeling in the situation. Um, but also, it makes me, it reminds me of how the Lord has interacted with me um, in the past and still does to this day, um, specifically when um, me and my wife were planning to get married and planning our wedding and planning where we were going to live and trying to find our place to live. Um, I was much like Simon and trying to do things my own way and trying to do things um, out of my own power, like he was the whole night before trying to fish um, to no success. And instead, um, he, Jesus, the Lord does the same thing he does with Simon. And he came to me and said, um, go and do this thing that is not really related to what you were doing, like he did with having him put his boat out so he could teach um, he asked me to go and help the junior hires and be a junior high leader and teach the children. And it's amazing to see that parallel or see how he's done that with me. And, um, and it, I did it much like Simon probably did very, um, begrudgingly and with a lot of attitude towards the Lord, but, um, I did it anyways. And, um, I think it was the Lord trusting my um, faithfulness to him in some way. Um, and then, but also giving me a, um, a mission like he gives Simon um, to teach people and to, um, yeah, a, a part in his, in his kingdom. And then um, after that, he, he asked me to trust him with our plans and um, with where we were going to find a place to live and how we were going to survive. Um, and so I said, okay, like you were, you were faithful in, in the junior high ministry. Like that was very fulfilling and very, um, it felt a lot better than I went into it, giving it credit for um, a lot better. And so I said, okay, like you're asking me to trust you, I'll trust you again. Um, and so we trusted him and it, he was just so amazing and fulfilling everything we needed um, as far as like what our budget allowed as well as like having a community of people in there that were believers and being close to church and my family that it was just amazing to see him provide for those needs. But on top of our needs, he provided for things that were that were wants that we had no um, no business asking for or really expecting to happen. And um, just like my wife wanted a red door and blue shutters on our house and or on our apartment, and the one we ended up living in had a red door and blue shutters and it was just amazing to see the Lord be so gracious in that. Um, and if our, if my story and Simon's story had stopped there, it would have been great and perfect and wrapped up in a tight little bow. We followed the Lord, but it doesn't stop there. It um, continues on. And in my life, I continue to go back to my old ways and um, try and do things my own way. But the Lord um, is so gracious in teaching me to, um, teaching me the same lesson over again and reminding me to trust him and trust him and um, ask him to come alongside me. And it's going to be a lot better than what I was doing before and even better than what I was expecting before. Um, so yeah, it's it's so amazing how the Lord works. So let me pray to close. 
Lord, thank you that you're a God who cares about our wants and our needs. And um, you care about not only those things, but how we do things, Lord, um, whether we do them apart from you or with you. I thank you that you're a God that wants to do things with us and wants to be in relationship us, with us in, um, in our everyday work, Lord. Uh, and I thank you that you're just a God who provides and a God who provides more than what we need, um, even to, the, to what we want, Lord. So I thank you for that, and I praise you in your name. Amen. All right. Thank you, guys. And I, again, we miss you guys and love you. Bye.